Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and variations there upon to set 13. Let's play Dragon Age 2, my warrior playthrough. Now, excuse me while I uh, get comfortable because I'm doing shit. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, I'm going to mention this real quickly. Uh, there's a prob good probability that I won't be able to upload the uh, videos that basically give checklists for the end of each act because my recorder is being a little weird. I'm still going to try my best to get this out there, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Alright then. This set is going to be dedicated specifically to the completion of companion quest lines. So, we have a lot to do. Like, holy fuck a lot. <clears throat> okay, thankfully though, some of the characters we don't have access to anymore due to certain events. So that should cut it down by quite a bit, specifically Isabella. So, let's get to it. Alright, do, do, and do. Okay. First, we're going to stop by Fenris' place and talk to him. Yes, let's go talk to Fenris. A few quests that we want to get done real quickly, so we're going to go do that. Now, a lot of the quests I may not be able to pull off just due to the fact of affection with that character currently. So this set may be a little bit shorter than the, than the other ones. We'll see. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then he does fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. Nah, it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was... I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. If this is a trap, I need someone who can fight to back me up. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. I know you owe me no favors, but if we happen to go there anyway... Take a look at this. A Blade of Mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Daenerys coveted them, as I recall. I'd like you to have it. You think I wish to carry a symbol of Imperial honor? You must be joking. Keep your sword. Sell it, melt it down. I want nothing to do with its filthy magic. Well, fuck. Do I get to keep it, or is it, is it, uh... Yes, there it is! Um, this is supposed to be a sword specifically for Fenris, uh, depending on how you actually give it to him. Uh, we'll determine if he keeps it or not. It's similar to the, um, shield of herself that we gave to Aveline a while back. I'm gonna give it to him. It's a really good sword, it really is. Although it looks different than I remember it being. Especially on that cutscene right just a few seconds ago. Oh well! <laughs> um, if you elected to keep it, or if you have uh, Fenris as a rival, as it is right now, um, he'll give the sword back to you. So it's up to you if you want to keep it or not. I wanted to keep it. But I wanted to give it to him, but apparently that's not that's no good. Wow, I, wasn't, I was not expecting that. I was, I was kind of curious how he was going to react. It was, was kind of interesting. I'm also very curious uh, what his affection is towards me right now. 
should not be that high. It's probably like almost completely rival right now. Although I get a I did get a plus five seconds ago, so well I did get a negative fifteen. Let's take a quick peek, shall we? Wow. Ah shit, things may not go well very well for the end of the game. <laughs> we'll see how things play out. Right, let's go talk to Aveline while we're here. Hello, Aveline. Guardsman, duties for the week will be low town canvas. Five on, three off. City perimeter by twos. Clear by second watch. Training recruits full metal by week's end. Anything else, Captain? No. Thank you. Donick is a good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? Just checking in. Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. Nothing going on, Hawk. Alright, we have to come. Alright, oh, I remember now. <laughs> we have to go back to the house first. So that quest to continue at least. So we're going to make the rounds and talk to everyone first and get that said and done. Makes things a little easier. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Sebastian. Should be interesting. Fuck though, Fenris is just <laughs> looking for a reason to be mad. I always thought when you get a uh, max rivalry, they'll leave the party. I've never actually had a max rival before. Hmm. Should be interesting to say the least. Turn left. Yeah, get up the stairs. The first enchanter overstepped his bounds. Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Then you do favor the Templars, Your Grace. I favor peace, which is not the goal of either side, I'm afraid. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the champion, too, if you will. I am your humble servant. You honor me. The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. I don't want to see the Divine's armies march against Kirkwall. Could we keep the Exalted marching to a minimum? I keep all my stuff in Kirkwall. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The Agent, Sister Nightingale will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canari incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. Oh boy. Okay, so... Fuck. Major fucks. Damn it. You know, honestly... <laughs> If, um, 
Grand Cleric Athena actually did step forward and tell Meredith to back the fuck off, things would be a lot different. And I'm not, I'm not just saying she, she should do it just because, you know, of all that, but... That's Knight Commander of your Templars. Do something about it. She's inciting panic. No peace can be done when she's going, hey, kill all the mages. <sighs> oh well. It really is you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys. <sighs> the word is master. Oh boy. Well, pretty soon it's gonna be corpse. Come on. You're the slavers. Daenerys just standing up there like, don't mind me, I'm fine. Yeah, get fucked, man. Push them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right? Not going so well. Come on. Spin. There we go. So many slavers, fuck. Come on. Still not going hostile, huh? It takes a while to go hostile, apparently. Right. Keep an eye on him up there. Push through. Nope. God damn it, new shit. Let's focus on Daenerys, I guess. Nope. Not gonna let you go away, fucker. Damn it, more shields. Fuck you. And that goes Varric. Lovely. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, fucker. I'm not gonna let ya. Damn it, again time. Where's Varric's corpse? Fuck. Come on. I just need to kill Daenerys. Well, he's dead, his demons die with him. Thank you. Damn fucker teleported. Wait a minute, he's still there. Come on. There we go. You are no longer my master. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a Magister. Your sister's a mage. You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. 
You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait, don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? Your sister's as much a victim as you were. Elf and Fenris, I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out. You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Curious how things are gonna play out now. Shit. That was heavy. There, negative 15 to Fenris. Fuck, where's he at now? <laughs> Almost there. Alright. Curious of the Centurion. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like, shall we? It's on par with my warplay, but nowhere near as powerful as anything else. Eh, not bad. Still for the warplate though. Sorry. The hell is she doing? Looks like she's running with, you know. Never mind. We'll keep quiet about that. Alright. I'm gonna see if anything happens when I go to Fenris' place. I'm assuming there's gonna be a cutscene or something there. Like questioning belief uh, the questioning belief quest. But his affection isn't really that high. I think I need a hundred a hundred percent affection on either side for me to get questioning beliefs. Not hundred percent on that. Venice? Tell me. Alright. Varric. Oh. I didn't die. I'll uh probably come back here later then, I guess. Okay. Um, where are we going? Fuck. Uh, back to the hangman so we can talk to Varric and get his quests started. And see how that goes. Then off to Meryl's house. And then Anders' clinic. And that'll be it for the, uh, the uh, just talking dialogue bits. All that's left is the quest itself. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. 
The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower marsh, kitten marsh. No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Mark, what can I do for you? I'm not here on business. I'm just dropping by. Drinking is business, champion. You know that. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I assume there's not much interest in it. No. There's a really small number of people who want expensive, blood-covered houses in Hightown. I found a minor noble in Ravane who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is... haunted. Anyone who knew the house's history would attribute every noise in the night to ghosts. I may have neglected to mention the mansion's uh, colorful past to the buyer. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, Voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartrand brought back from the deep roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Of course not. We never let down our favorite little dwarven friend, would we? Alright, so that's that. Let's get the frick out of here. And on to Meryl's place. Where's Meryl? Where's Meryl? A new path. Eh, that can only be good, right? Hmm. After this, we'll head over to Anders and then... Quests. Now, every character actually has a quest associated to them in this act, so make sure you get everything said and done. Oop. Hello. Lethalon, I need to ask something of you. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Illuvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? If it brings back this artifact of the Elven, if it gives us even one piece of our history, it's worth any risk. There's no one else I trust. I need you, Lethalan. I'd never forgive myself if someone else got hurt because of me. If you're determined to do this, then I'll come with you to make sure nothing goes wrong. Ah, Saranus. You've no idea what a relief that is. The demon is sealed in a cave on Sundermount. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? I only know that it was made by the Dalish. It's silvernwood, rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal, the dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not... exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf. Is a keeper's place. It's a... 
Very sweet memento. Thank you. You're welcome, Meryl. <laughs> All right. Fucking wall. Damn. Okay. So the last place to stop by is Anders' clinic. Hmm. Should do it now or wait? Let me think a second. Um. His quest line is eh, annoying. Eh, why not? And he's a, part, a party member, so yeah, I don't need to switch anyone out. Come on, hurry up. Here we go. Open door. There we go. Enders, buddy. How you doing? You think I don't know the city guard is just another arm of the Templars? That is completely unfair. If they show up here, I'll know who to blame. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see that. I just can't be too careful. Now that the Knight Commander has basically appointed herself Viscount. I can't even imagine how difficult it is to be a mage here now. It's easy for most of them. They're long since tranquil. The mage underground is all but destroyed. And those left have turned to blood magic as their only option. Which Meredith knows will prevent any chance of the public taking their side. There's still one good mage left in the city. I don't know how you continue to believe in me. How can people be so blind? The blight was stopped only with the aid of two mages. One an apostate. But it makes no difference. The Chantry set us on this path long ago. It would take something truly catastrophic to change people's thinking now. Our cause is nearly lost. Really? Nothing else? Our cause is nearly lost. Hmm. Something's wrong. No. When does that other quest start then? Well, that's annoying. I think we have to do some other quests before his start. I think. I'm getting a little nervous there. Okay then, let's stop by Hawk Estate so we can read that note. So we can start Aveline's personal quest. God damn, so many quests. Alright then. New quest justice. I had to leave and come back. Okay. From trade. Favor and fault. Champion and non-solid hawk. As a courtesy as your past service, be aware that I have received complaints about your frequent companion, Guard Captain Aveline. She's accused of coddling her men and weakening law enforcement in this crucial time. In the absence of a Viscount, I am called to vacate uh, her position and assume her authority, but I would rather not have the headache. Please speak with you. Uh, please speak with her about these claims. As champion, your word can decide uh, can decide this matter and save the career of a good woman. Thanks, Shen. Right, let's do a quick save. Here we are. Okay, so let us go and do. Sebastian's faith quest first. Fenris. Varric. And Sebastian. Alright! And if it's still nighttime when we leave, I'll stop by, um. Uh. Barton's old place and we'll do haunted. My mind went blank for every second there. 